Hello everybody. Uh, recently I came across this product called Touchline Power Mist. Pretty much what it is, is a uh, alcohol based uh, hand sanitizer spray. I think it's got a uh, 67 or like 70% alcohol content. You know, nowadays COVID-19 and the pandemic, everybody carry a hand sanitizer jar everywhere you go. I really enjoy this uh, Touchline Power Mist because uh, it's easy to use. You just give it some sprays and it smells great. Personally, I really like the watermelon scent, and this one I have right here is a uh, lavender scent, uh, not my favorite, watermelon is the best. But the problem with this package, it looks great and everything. Uh, Touchland claim on the website, their pump lasts like 20 to 40, I don't remember, 20 or 40 times longer than other pump sprays, and then they can be pumped like 500 plus times, but usually the formula is going to run off first. So I saw videos of people like drain holes into a package and use a syringe to fill it up, then use hot glue gun to seal it up. I, this is, that's just a lot of work, but I figured an easier to uh, refill it without breaking the package. So pretty much what I do, uh, all you need is, uh, you know, basically the spray and a prior. Uh, it's best if your prior has lines at the end, just so you give more friction without like actually damage the package. Now, any alcohol formula you want to use and put it into your touchline package. So what I do is I use my prior, just push onto the actuator here to open up the cover. So I'll give it a little push. It comes right off pretty easily. So this is a cover, top cover. And now we have this little hole I can clip onto. Then I'm going to open up the actuator. Oh, great. So the valve actually came out with the actuator, but a lot of times the valve is not going to come out and you're going to, it's going to look at like, it's going to look like this. One second. A lot of time you're going to only able to open the actuator and inside you can see this uh, valve still there. Now what I would do is I will use my prior, clamp onto the actuator, but make sure you don't apply too much force because you don't want to make the actuator flat because then you're going to have a dispensing problems. So get a hold of it and just tweak it a little tweaking around and pull it up. Then we'll get the actuator off. Then you'll be able to refill it. So the easiest way is uh, if you have a small funnel, you can just use funnel and then pour your formula into there. But a lot of people don't have a funnel this small. Uh, or don't have a funnel at all like me. Uh, what I would do is I would use a straw, plastic straw from like McDonald's, Burger King's. You know, plug the straw in. Then at the end, I just pour in the formula. Then once you got the formula in, I'm gonna put the vault back on. Just hold on to the vault and put it in and give it a push. Then I got the actuator. Uh, make sure you're facing the correct side. You don't want to this side because then it won't spray anything. So when you press down, you want to give a good push and it's going to give a pump. So maybe use a tissue. Now we have this cover. Again, it's going to give a good push. Now you will be all set. You got to, you can start reusing your touchline packaging and uh, you can fill with whatever formula you have too. Uh, really cool packaging too. I really enjoy this. Uh, it's easy to catch, uh, uh, carry around. And I also got this uh, silicone case, which is really useful. Uh, because, you know, I'm a guy. I can't, I don't have the pocket space just to carry around this thing. It's like a mini phone. So with the case, I can attach to my key ring and uh, to my backpack, bag, whatever. Well, I hope this helped. Uh,